Good morning. My name is Prophetess Catherine, and today I want to welcome all of our viewers all over the world. We are gathered today at Holy City, and we want to thank God for the grace that He has given us, the grace that is sufficient for us. Today, as you are joining us in our Sunday service, I want you to join me as we say good morning to my health, good morning to my finances, good morning to my career, good morning to my success. The grace of God is sufficient for us. Today I want to talk about a message that will help you because of the things that you are facing in your life. You can admit that there are so many things that are happening in our life today. There are so many judgments that are coming from so many people that are surrounding us. But let me remind you that the judgment of people is not the judgment of God. If you open the Bible, in the book of Romans chapter 2 verse 1, the Bible says, Do you, my friend, pass judgment on others? You have no excuse at all, whoever you are. For when you judge others and then do the same things which they do, you condemn yourself. This is what the Bible tells us. When you judge others, you condemn yourself. But let me remind you that whatever people have spoken over your life, over your family, over your children, over your career, over your success, whatever they are speaking against you, the judgment of people is definitely not the judgment of God. Let me remind you today that whatever people are declaring over your life, be it good or be it evil, whatever negative pronouncements they are giving against your life, whatever judgments they are passing, those judgments are definitely not the judgments of God. The Bible says that as far as the heavens are above the earth, so is my thoughts and my mind above yours. The way we think is not the way God thinks. And the blessings that God has given us are definitely not the blessings that people can give us. So be it good, be it good blessings that people may be speaking of for your life. Be it good or bad, it doesn't matter whatever they are speaking against you. The judgments of people are definitely not the judgments of God. If you open the Bible in the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 4, the Bible says, Who are you to judge another man's servant, whether he falls or he rises? He rises or falls to his own God because it is the one God who can make him to succeed. Why are we judging people? The judgments we are giving are not the judgments of God and one day we will be in trouble at judgment because of the words that we are speaking. Empty words, the Bible says. Empty words that we are speaking are the ones that are going to make us to be in trouble with God at judgment. It doesn't matter whatever situation you find yourself in today. Your family is speaking negative against you. Your loved ones are speaking negative against you. They are cursing you or looking down upon you. It doesn't matter what situation you find yourself in today. Our God is the owner of all riches, gold and silver. We are all citizens of heaven and when God looks at us, God looks at us with the same perspective. We are all equal in the eyes of God. Therefore, no one should have the ability or capacity to see themselves, to see themselves as superior or above another person. Because the judgments that we are giving towards other people, be them poor or the rich, orphans or those with parents, the judgments we are giving towards their lives are not the judgments of God. The way you are seeing that person today, the way you are viewing them in their life, despite the things that they are going through, the way you are viewing people is not the way God is viewing them. The way you underestimate and the way you look down upon people is not the way God is looking at these people. The way we are treating people, the way we are treating orphans, and the way we are treating those people who are less privileged, those people who do not have anyone to look up to, the way we are treating these people is the judgment that I'm talking about. That judgment that you are giving towards their life is not the judgment of God. God loves them equally the same way he loves you. Therefore, my message to you today is the judgment of people is not the judgment of God. Do not worry and do not fret about how people are treating you or how people are viewing you or what people think about you. Because the mind of God, the ways of God are far and above human capacity. The way we underestimate and the way we are treating people today when we have it's very important 
because the situation you find yourself in today may not be the same situation that will carry you to your grave. You might have today and tomorrow you find yourself not having anything. Therefore, let us treat everyone with respect because we do not know tomorrow how our tomorrow will be like. The same people we are mistreating today might be the people we will see when we get to heaven high and lifted up above everyone else. There are different ranks and there are different levels and categories when we get to heaven. We won't all be the same when we go there. We will be awarded accordingly to how we are behaving today. So let us treat each other with respect. Let us love one another. Let us preach the gospel of love, knowing that Jesus Christ died and came 